Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 4x4 test tent with another unboxing video. This one is from Grandmaster LEDs. Another one, we already did the Vulcan in the last video. You can see that big bad boy up there. This time is going to be the long leg. So the bar style, they got you covered if you want boards or bars. Either way, link in the description if you want to take a look at it. Discount code's down there. Give it a thumbs up, but let's get into it. guys so this is uh, pretty much what comes in the box uh, pretty basic just the essentials of course got the uh, the GML show postcard there check that out if you guys want to and we've got as it shows here the uh, tarantula long leg five-year warranty right on the front of the manual great looking manual it's got the logo on the back really high quality manual like this is like not only a full full-size page not just some little manual, but it's got a lot of info in it. Feel free to pause if you guys want to uh, read any of this. See the spectrum there. There's some uh, specs. Some more info here on hooking it up to a controller, because it does work with a controller if you choose to purchase one. It does not come with one. There's some safety info, all the don't do stupid shit type of things. Kind of what it comes with, how to hook it up. Very easy, plug and play. Super simple. There again, more setup info. And info for adjusting the spectrum manually we'll get into that for sure and then notes if you want to write your own notes about your light <laughs> all right there we go awesome standard power cord of course the uh, quick disconnect watertight connection let's get into the accessory bag here we've got the phone cord for hooking up for daisy chain or uh, for the um, controller if you buy that more phone cord we got rope ratchets. These are yeah, metal gear on the rope ratchets. I don't know if you can see that in there. They are metal gear, of course. You got some wire ties, which not very many people include, but they're very nice to have. We've got our four screws here that are to screw the driver box to the main fixture. And then we have a very robust hanging kit very nice. Look how thick these wires are. Definitely going to hold this very, very well. You're not going to have any issues with it uh, failing. This is a very nice hanging kit, actually. Get two of those, one for each end. And that's pretty much it. And you got the driver box. This thing is sick. Look at this chromed out. Damn, I almost dropped it. <laughs> It's kind of heavy. It's not super heavy. It's not like crazy, but damn, it's definitely beefy. You got your connections on the end, changing the spectrum, daisy chain, other end, more. DC output, wow. All kinds of options here. I don't know if you guys can see the, the info here. It's kind of shiny. If you want to take a look at any of the particulars, nice little logo on the front there. It's got all the ETL listed. Good stuff. FCC, IP66, all kinds of shit. All the good shit. This is a Canadian company. You know Canada has some pretty stringent uh, restrictions on a lot of their grow lights, so... This is going to have all those uh, all those crazy endorsements that are needed for uh, some industrial applications or commercial. But yeah, let's uh, let's hook this thing up. Take a look at this thing. 
That is an absolute beast. These bars are super wide. One of the widest bars I've seen on any of these lights that I've reviewed. Really, really good. So let's uh, let's get her hooked up and see what she pushes. All right, we got it all hooked up and ready to go. Look at this beast. Holy shit, guys. These bars are beefy as fuck. Wow. Wow. Look at that, man. And as usual, we are at 25 inches off the canopy here. Or off the floor, I guess you would say. It's going to simulate about a 24 inch canopy because the uh, sensors are about, about an inch off the floor. You can see we got tons of uh, red in here. We got 660 red and 730 as well. Both spectrums covered. Super nice. So much red. Holy shit. And you can control the red right here. You just switch it over here and you can turn it up and down. And then switch back to the middle. We're at 9% on the, uh, the main. Killer. Killer, killer. Let's switch this off. Let's run the red at 100%. 100% on the red. Get a look at that. That is all 730. So if you want to run some far red by itself, you can. Which is awesome. Looks like we're pushing... What are we pushing here? 67 watts, 68 watts. Maybe 69. Nice. Nice. Look at that, man. 80 to 90 par. Let's take a center reading real quick. 115, 128. Ooh, yeah, we're getting up there. 129. So you're looking around 100 par, roughly, addition with the uh, the red. So you can just add that on to the, uh, the other par readings, which is pretty killer. So we're going to go ahead and turn this. Let's, let's turn the main light back on. Then we'll switch over and we'll turn the red all the way down. There we go. And that's going to give us almost the same wattage, which is crazy. 64 watts. And about the same par, very close, roughly. 80 to 90 in every corner. Middle reading. 116, so really close to being able to do seedlings and clones right here. But let's kick it up just a little bit. Let's go maybe uh, like 13% maybe. Ooh, that's even a little high. 12%. There we go, 12%. And we're looking 150 in the middle and 110 to 115 around the sides. This is going to be perfect for seedlings and clones. You guys could fill this entire bottom tray full of seedlings and clones and run it at 12%. Oh, I guess I should remind you guys a lot of you already know we're at 25 inches here we are 25 inches off the deck which is going to give us a 24 inch uh canopy simulation because the sensors are about about an inch tall so that's where we're sitting there hell yeah let's kick it up to uh let's kick it up to veg here About 350 is where we're shooting for. I'm a little bit over. This is really nice that you can dial this in by percentage, though. Just 1% at a time. That is killer. There we go. About 350 in the corners. These, uh, these front corners are going to be weaker because this one has no reflection at all. And this one only has some reflection. Those have really great reflection. That's why the back is going to be heavier than the front as far as the, uh, the par reading goes. So we're looking, let's get a center reading here, 476 in the middle, 476. So that's going to be really good for veg for most people, 350 to 450, right in the, right in the sweet spot for me actually. That's what I like to run with. Let's kick it up, let's see if we can find a, a point for flower here, where are we going to be? Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, about there. We're 600 in the corners. 
which is going to give us a fatty center reading of 822. Wow. Okay, so 600 in the corners, 620, and 820 in the middle. So about a 200 par difference from the middle to the end. You could you could see they don't really have the diode space to each end like some of the companies do. So it is going to be a little bit hotter in the middle, but 200 par from very very corner to the middle is not bad at all not bad at all uh, right here we're at 57 percent and we're at about uh, about 600 around the corners we're hitting flower territory our center reading is going to be 816 817 maybe 820 i think it was last time i tested it maybe a little bit further over that way yeah see 822 so yeah, that is, uh, that is killing the game, guys. That is killing the game. That's going to be perfect for you guys that are looking for nice, fat, fat colas, but not wasting too much power. A lot for a new grower. Really good for a new grower to start at that point as well. And you can see we're only at 57%. So we're going to definitely go higher. Let's take it to 75. Let's see what 75 does. So at 75, we're 800 in the corners now. So we basically took our middle our middle reading and moved it to the corners. That is killing the absolute game right there. Then our center reading. Looking at 1070. 1070 in the center. So that's going to be more for you guys that are a little bit more on the advanced side of the growing spectrum. And uh, you want to really push your plants and get some fat, fat yields. That's what this is going to be for. 75% right there. 75% guys killing the game we don't even have the red on keep that in mind that's another hundred boost another hundred boost so let's just blow it open to a hundred percent here and we'll see what we hit there we go looks like 950 ish in the corners around 900 950 damn son center reading 12 79 1280 basically in the middle 1280 now that's going to be too strong for some people some people that's definitely going to be too much uh, other people are going to be able to handle that and it's just going to make their crop fatter and have more yield when you get over a thousand par you tend to usually need co2 supplement to keep up with that level of photosynthesis but uh, some people can handle it some it's it does depend on strain too some strains can handle more than others. So you got to keep that in mind. But this is going to be as strong as anybody's really going to want. I mean, 1,200 in the middle. That's, that's killing it, guys. That is absolutely killing it. And then we can kick the red on now. Let's kick the red on. Throw an extra 100 in there. Look at that. Look at that. 1,408 in the middle now. And 1050. 1000 to 1050 in the corners, guys. Holy shit. That is absolutely killing the game. Man. Unreal. Look at that. Look at those numbers. Shit. <laughs> well, they killed it with that light. And they killed it with this light. So. No matter which one you want, whether you like boards or bars, they got you covered 100%. Wow. That is awesome, man. Get a good look at it here at full 100%. Man, this is so bright I can barely even see. <laughs> I kind of have to like look away. I hope I'm pointing it right. So this is bright as shit. So 750 watts. Just unbelievable amounts of par adjustable spectrum speaking of spectrum let's bust out the spectrometer let's get our spectrum reading here we got the uh meter out it is zeroed out let's get a quick reading here see what we're looking at all right there we go look at that man big old 730 spike look at that 660 spike through the roof and not a lot of filler either not a lot of uh green and yellow filler it's mostly going to be 
orange, red, and blue. You see we got 225 to 581 on the red to blue, 138 far red. Killing the game. That is a great spectrum. Absolutely great spectrum. Wow. Killing it, guys. Hell yeah. So definitely, if you guys are looking for a powerful, powerful light for your 4x4 or even a 5x5, man, I'm confident this would work in a 5x5 just fine. This is definitely going to be something to look at. Click the links below to get some uh, prices and info on this. I've got discount codes there. Check out my website below. That's got discount codes on a lot of the things that you buy. Rosin equipment, all kinds of stuff down there. And um, definitely give this video a thumbs up so that we can get this out to more people. And uh, show them this badass LED. Holy shit. Wow. Alright, well, all we have left to do now is to uh, let it warm up and see what kind of heat readings we get. I imagine the heat readings are going to be pretty good because these have a lot of metal on them. They are beefy. Killing the game, guys. All right, let's let her warm up, see what we can uh, get for heat. All right, so we've let it warm up for about an hour here. Let's take a look at the uh, heat reading. See what we can see. Looking like the hot spot is 103 on the whole light. Wow! I think I saw 104. 104. Just under the driver. Told you these have a lot of metal on them. Look how thick these bars are. They have a lot going on them. It's going to help dissipate the heat. Look at that 97. 94 on the outer bar. See the driver box. 90. Oh, we got a 106 on this side. Here we go. 108 just under the driver. Let's see if we got just under the driver on this side, a little hotter. Yeah, 106. Yeah, so that's about as hot as it gets on here. That is killing it. 104 over the whole light like 108 as hot as I can really get That is awesome guys totally awesome Definitely click the links below if you want to take a look at this light I got all kinds of discount codes down there. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, review still I Still have more lights to review Just putting videos out a little bit slower now kind of doing other things at the same time But we still got lights to review, so here I am, guys. Here I am. Thumbs up so we can get some more videos. Till next time, guys. Happy growing.